This lesson is about graphing functions of two variables. We can start by way of review. So you already learned how to plot a function of a single variable in RStudio. Um, this would be something like plot fun of, then let's choose a function, 95 minus 73 times the exponential of minus 0.2 times t um, as a function of t. Uh, and we can make the limits of t uh, range from 0 to 20 in our graph, right? We get something like this popping up in our lower left or lower right panel. Now, of course, as we've discussed in this course, functions can have more than one input. So you might want to know how to visualize uh, a function of two variables in RStudio. And here's an example, plot fun, it's the same command. Uh, let's do sine of 2 times pi times t over 10. Um, times the exponential of minus 0.2 times x. So this is a function of two variables, right? You see t appearing and x appearing. So after the tilde, we have to list both variables, t and x. I'll say it again. This function that we want to plot depends on t and x, okay? And now we have to give two ranges. We'll say t.lim equals range 0 to 20 and uh, x dot lim equals range 0 to 10. So if we do this, then what we get by default is a contour diagram popping up down here. Um, and the plot is filled with colors as a way of, of just kind of helping guide your eye. I, I myself sometimes find these easier to read without the colors. So we can make this same plot again. I'll arrow up to get the same command. But inside of the main plot fun command, I'm going to add filled equals false. This means don't fill it in with colors. I just want to see the contours. And we get something like this, which I find to be um, a little bit more palatable. Um, contour plots are probably the main way you've learned of visualizing a function of two variables. Sometimes people like to visualize functions of two variables as a surface. So x and t are the independent variables sort of going along the bottom of a, of a box, say, and then the value of the function is represented as the height inside the box. And so we could do this same uh, command, arrow up to get it back, uh, and I'm going to take away my filled equals false option. That's going to be irrelevant because we're not making a contour plot anymore. I'm going to type surface equals true, and we'll actually get a surface plot and you even see that this little dialog box opens up and in this surface we can manipulate certain things like the angle from which we're viewing the surface um, horizontally and vertically and so forth. And you can change those options by using these sliders here. And when you're done, you can just click these two arrows to collapse that. Okay. Let's talk about a few more ways to visualize functions. Um, sometimes you might want to create the function before you plot it. And you remember there's a function make fun that does this for you. So we could say g equals make fun of sine 2 times pi times t over 10 uh, times the exponential of minus 0.2 times x. Um, that is a function of t and x. So that creates the function. G now is that function. And we could do a few things. One is that we could just plot it, plot fun uh, g of t comma x. This is what we've done before. It's a function of t and x. Um, and we can say t dot lim equals range 0 to 20. x dot lim equals range 0 to 10. This gives us the same plot as before. Something else now is that we could do um, cross sections, right? So if I wanted to, um, to fix the value of t at, say, uh, 10, and just see um, what x looks like, uh, what the function looks like as it depends on x for that fixed value of t, I could say plot g of 10 comma x. That's only going to depend on x. So we take away everything relating to t, and I'm back to plotting a function of a single variable, but it happens to be the cross-section that I was interested in. Okay, so that's the end of this lesson. I hope you'll give these things some practice, and thanks for listening.